Hello Sagittarius. This is Esmoitcha here. Welcome to the channel. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading. I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person you're connecting with on a romantic level. The person you want to be connecting with romantically, what it is that they are feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. And this reading is meant to cover the 1st of January to the 15th of January 2021, but it is a general reading. So some of you may have already gone through this. Some of you may be going through this now. And the rest of you may be going through this in the far future. This might happen sometime in the future. There is some distance here, Sag. This individual that you're connecting with is missing you quite a bit. Um, it almost seems as if they haven't seen your face in a while. <coughs> There's a lot of grief. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Throat. Wow, sexuality, and then we have mothering. Okay, this person wants to have a family with you. They want to have children with you. Let me just put that out there first. And this person's really hurting. All right. <clears throat> um, you have here illness and wellness, crisis, surrender, beauty, grief, creativity, laughter, sexuality, and mothering. Okay. So I'm going to express to you, Sag, what it is that this person is feeling towards you. My dear Sagittarius, so many things have happened between us, and right now I'm feeling devastated, hopeless in fact, very depressed. There are things that are holding me down and preventing me from coming up towards you. I want to see your shining face above the surface of this water, but I am drowning in a sea of sadness. I have restrictions, I am being held back. And there are certain responsibilities that I have. What has happened between us <clears throat> has created a lot of overwhelming feelings. There is a sense of mental anguish, anxiety, too much happening, too sudden, too fast, too soon. <clears throat> These feelings are so intense that I don't know where to go, what to do. They're creating a lot of confusion in my mind and my heart. And for that reason, I don't know which direction to follow. 
and this is simply because I have feelings and emotions that are overwhelming my heart and my mind. I don't know which steps to take. There's a part of me that has truly surrendered my heart, my mind, and my body to you. Because you are so beautiful. Not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. Your personality, your integrity, your character, your charisma. I do feel guilty for what has happened. There is a sense of remorse, regret. I feel this. And I do hold you high. Someone who shines in a very dark sky. I feel you deserve this much attention. But now I grieve. There is melancholy and sorrow because I feel like I've lost you. I want to create something with you. Something that'll be long lasting for the world to see. Something that'll be unique and beautiful. Because there is no one else I have met who has the ability to make me laugh and smile like you do. Nobody else gets me. They don't understand me like you do. You understand me very well. Even when I don't say things, it's as if you just know. I so miss your body. I miss touching you. I want to be with you intimately. I think about you. A lot. You would make a wonderful, nurturing parent. I want to have a family with you. And you have given me, in this connection, unconditional love. There is a sense of protection. There is so much that I feel that you have to offer. I know what it is that you can offer. And I appreciate that. For now, I'm drowning in this sea of sadness, not knowing what to do, where to go. Very conflicted. Until this mental anguish has settled, I won't be able to reach out the proper way. All right. There is a lot of remorse. This person has put you through something and now they are missing you. <clears throat> and they realized that you are someone that they really want to be with. Now let's have a look at any actions. Any actions or any plans, any intentions that this other individual has towards you. Yeah, this is very much like the first card you had, illness and wellness card, where the lady's being held down in the water, Sulis, um, goddess Sulis, and she's being held down. There's things that are holding her down, restrictions, constraints. This is exactly what the Eight of Swords talks about. Sagittarius, this person either has constraints, restrictions, some type of um, well, I guess you could just that that is the name. That that's the term for it. 
they're in a situation where they're finding their life and the things that they want to do in their life restricting. There's someone or circumstances that are restricting them from coming towards you. There's constraints. Wow, that's beautiful. Eight of Swords, then we have the Sun card, then we have the Hanged Man. Okay, followed by the Ten of Pentacles. That's quite nice. It is a little conflicting, but eventually this person does want to reach out to you. Right now, they're in the Eight of Swords mode. They're feeling, uh, they're feeling constraints and restrictions, internal and external. This person's not in the right state of mind, even materialistically. So it is not advisable to have expectations from this person right now, if you are already resonating with this reading. Now is not the right time to have certain expectations from this person. But the next card we have is Sun. This person finds you to be their sunshine beautiful, happy, you provide freedom and growth. There's just pure love here. They have these feelings for you, but they are hanging around waiting to see where things will head. They are actually waiting for something, a result of some sort, a reaction of something that has taken place. Now we have here the Ten of Pentacles. This person wants, they desire this dream. Where they're with you, they have a wonderful home that they can afford. This is what it's coming down to. There's a bit of money problems here. And that's one of the reasons that you might not know, but this person's holding back because of certain restrictions. That is one of the main restrictions. We do have the Nine of Wands. This individual wants to open up to you to some level, to some degree. They will open up to you, but they're also going to keep themselves a little closed off as well. Right now, I don't see much progress. I know that they know what they want. They just don't know how to get it. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, that was pretty fast. The Seven of Cups. This is the Lover's Path Tarot. So I will be looking into the feelings and emotions of this individual. Why is it that they're not reaching out the way that they could be, the way that they should be? Now, in the past, they had started to grow aware of passionate love and what is needed to encourage it. They have realized that this is an important relationship. This is something they did not realize before. Now what's happening is that they're starting to feel unworthy of love. There may have been a little bit of manipulation here in the past with, maybe for some of you, with sexuality. But there was some form of manipulation. It was harder for you. It was easy for them. It seems here as if you were the victim. We have here immaturity. Okay. This person is definitely immature and irresponsible in regards to love relationships. They were a player. That's what's coming up here. So what is the issue? The person's immature and they were a player. And then we do have the Seven of Cups. And that also elaborates further on this feeling. The Seven of Cups. This talks about trying to make choices but being indecisive because one is living in a fantasy land. Right now this person is allowing fantasies to influence how they view life. They are projecting onto others instead of seeing things that the way that they truly are. They're not seeing things the way that they truly are. The way that they truly can be. There's a lot of 
illusions and fantasies. <clears throat> daydreaming. There's a lot of daydreaming here. Just going to do a quick prayer. Goodness, that's kind of strange. One second. All right. This is Dorian Virtues back angel answer cards. Okay, there you go. Wow, you have the yes card. Take action. And we have opportunity. Hmm. And then we have no. So we have yes in the beginning, no. Okay. I'm going to try to interpret this. Oh my god, this is like, is this a game? Seriously? Now there's yes again. Okay, peaceful resolution. Okay. Don't stop. All right, interesting. So, I'm going to clarify the last card, top right. No, I know. Recovery. And remain positive. Okay, so we have a few things going on here. In regards to this individual, yes, there is going to be a peaceful resolution. And yes, you will be able to take action at the right time. And there will be an opportunity. When you get this opportunity, there is going to be a reconciliation, a peaceful resolution. If there has been any type of issues, Things will be resolved. The angels here want you to not stop. Don't stop loving. Don't stop giving and receiving love. They would like you to remain positive. One thing, however, is that any opportunity that you get, make sure that it doesn't affect you to the point where you get sick. I know it's very difficult to do that, but sometimes we start to stress. We have anxiety. We start really worrying about certain things and here you have the recovery card this person might give you give, might, this person might give you certain opportunities you see how the cards came up as them being in the player energy right now because they are immature in regards to love and relationships they are in this player energy so if this person does give you an opportunity be careful what you decide to do because it might not work out in the best interest and then you'll be sick. You're literally going to start to feel emotionally ill and eventually you may have to recover from this. So granted this person has feelings for you, that's great. But are they actually mature enough to take that responsibility? Not yet. They'll eventually get there. Just keep in mind, if and when they do approach you, be very careful on what you decide to do with them because you do not want to have your heart broken. Action speaks louder than words. In the meantime, remain positive. 
regarding this card, for those of you that may have had spiritual um, feelings of negativity around you because of this connection and things that have energetically brought you down. So if you are feeling spiritually depressed, if you're feeling that you have to recover from something, you can reach out to me. I have a few packages for this particular one. I deal with the chakra checkup. So I look at your chakra centers remotely and I provide you with the materials that you need to have self-help and self-heal. But I guide you through the entire process. All right, guys. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and provide you the guidance that you needed. I know it's not exactly what you were wanting to hear, but some of us will have to be super careful when we're dealing with certain individuals, no matter how tempting or sexy that person is. All right, Saj. So I will see you guys again in mid-January. Take care and stay safe. I'll see you then. Bye now.